Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rob Dotson, and this is the 360 VR video recap of our 2016 Palmer Summit held at the Tobacco Dock in beautiful, sunny London. So I hope you're viewing this through a cardboard for the full VR experience. In front of you right now is a merchant ship or a pirate ship or something. But if you turn around, you can actually see the Tobacco Dock itself. You can see the venue and you can see some of our branding out there on the exterior. So now we're inside the Tobacco Dock and it's a pretty cool vibe inside of the venue itself. It's got a very historical, maritime, nautical theme to it and some very interesting architectural details. There's a lot of folks coming in from all over the world right now to learn about the latest developments in web components and of course Palmer. So in this sort of registration area, folks are just getting their badges, they're getting their swag bags. And if you look around a little bit, you can actually see me tucked off to the side there doing a live interview with Mr. Peter Lubbers from the uh, Google Developer Relations team. So now we're inside the main hall and we're just getting set up. A uh, successful summit really requires a tremendous amount of preparation, and the Palmer team not only created a bunch of great content for the event, but they also put a lot of thought into creating a space and an environment that really encourages networking and collaboration. Okay, this is the keynote now. We've got Mac Nolte going up on stage, kicking things off, and there's also some pretty awesome projection mapping going on. A funny story, the guy who put together the graphics for the projection mapping actually had to pull an all-nighter the night before at the tobacco dock just to get everything ready. And because the tobacco dock is not an enclosed space at all, it's totally open to the elements, he was back there just covered in blankets, just jamming away on his laptop to like house music and stuff, and I, I think the, the end result was, was pretty awesome. You can see that we've got a pretty packed house here. Take a moment and, you know, look over your shoulder to the left and the right, kind of get a feel for the size of the room. I think the final headcount was around 750 developers from all over the world showed up for this event, which is pretty awesome. I mean, we had folks from every continent, every walk of life, and uh, it was really exciting to see them all here in person and get to talk with a lot of them. Ah yes, the speaker lounge. So this is basically where everyone is panic coding bug fixes into their demos. So take a moment, uh, you know, look around. You can see a lot of familiar faces, uh, folks from the, the Google Developer Relations team. We also have a monitor here so we can keep track of what's going on during the event and keep tabs on all the talks and go out and maybe, you know, uh, give people a hard time or something if their, their demo explodes. It's always a really good idea to push a bunch of code right before you go up on stage and present it. So yeah, this is, this is usually where we hang out. We do these at every event just so we can have kind of a quiet space to get some last minute stuff done before we go up on stage. It's lunchtime now. Some folks here are eating chicken. Some are eating non-chicken. Uh, this was a very cool loungy space, and this is a good chance if you're on a VR headset to look up and check out the transparent roof. I'm sure sometimes it's sunny in London, today was a bit overcast, but it's still a very, very awesome venue. And this was a really good opportunity for us to sit down with some folks and just chat about the future of the web and really hear from developers about where they have pain points and how we can hopefully address those. For folks who maybe were a little exhausted from sitting in on talks and wanted to kick back in a beanbag and maybe just scope out some sessions on a TV, we set up this little lounge area. True story, after the event, a lot of folks just picked up the beanbag chairs and took them home with them. Uh, we did this similarly last year at the last Palmer Summit and a guy actually had to buy a train ticket for his beanbag chair and he sent us a photo and we lulled. At the end of a very long day of discussing web components, we all chilled out in this cavernous underground party space. This spot was actually pretty rad. I think nerds like me are naturally very comfortable in a cave-like environment, so this was very fun. Definitely had a lot of really good conversations and got to meet a ton of cool folks. That about wraps it up. I hope you liked what you saw and that you'll be able to join us next year at Palmer Summit 2017.